Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Spat, and I'm going to talk to you today for a moment about root canal versus an implant. Much of the news and much of the progression of dentistry lately is revolved around implant dentistry. Uh, in the past, when a tooth went bad or when a nerve in a tooth died, a root canal was done on that tooth to uh, get rid of any infection and allow the tooth to be restored long term and reliably. Okay. Today, there is an alternative to root canals and an often superior alternative, which would be called a dental implant. We generally will use root canals if there's still a good amount of remaining tooth structure that we can put a crown on to. Okay? And we generally still do a root canal if the patient doesn't have an extremely high risk for decay. What you don't want to do is do a root canal and do a crown and then find that the patient has such an overwhelming susceptibility toward decay that that tooth then becomes redecayed and it has to be extracted anyway. We will generally do implants as an alternative to root canals if the first implant failed and it's a root canal retreat or if there's limited tooth structure to reliably place the crown on. Implant success rate ranges from right around 92% to about 97% depending on which jaw and the location and the quality of bone. And as far as root canals go, their success rate is right close to there, but the success rate for root canal retreats drops down into the low 80 percentile. Start getting down into that neighborhood, we have to start thinking about a better long-term solution and that would be a dental implant. I hope you understand a little bit more about the difference and when to choose a root canal versus a dental implant, and we hope to see you soon.